Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. And this is Giganta, Matthew's cousin. In this lesson we are studying division that is not exact, when things don't go evenly in division. For example, let's say we have nine apples for Matthew and Giganta to share. Then they cannot share evenly, right? Each mammoth would get four apples and there would be one left over. And we write it like this. The answer is four and then R or remainder is one. Okay? Oh. Matt is saying that what if we cut this apple in the middle? Right? You could do that. And then you would say that each mammoth gets four and a half apples. But sometimes you cannot divide things in the middle. For example, if these were nine toy cars, you wouldn't want to do that. And so then each mammoth would, would get four toy cars. There would be one left over, one remainder. Such as we have here. We have ten toy cars and divide by three. Let's say we have three players in a game. So they want to share these cards evenly. How many would each get? Okay. I can see, let's say we would have one person get three and then another get three and another get three and again one left over, right? So each person gets three and we have one left over. Remainder is one. Now in this problem we want to think in a little bit different way. We are not going to think of sharing division where we would divide 15 between four people or four persons. Instead, we're going to think of making groups of four. How many groups of four can I make out of 15? And for that, I can make groups of four like this. A group of four, a group of four, and a group of four. So I get three groups and three left over. The answer is three, remainder three. This is the same thinking as thinking how many fours are in 15, okay? How many groups of four are there? Or how many fours are in 15? Next, we come to a very interesting situation. Let's say we have three marbles. And let's say we have seven people sharing them. Three divided by seven. Then what? then we cannot share evenly at all. Nobody gets any marbles, right? Because there's not enough to go around. So the answer would be zero, and then all three are left as leftovers or remainder. Remainder three. And then over here, a bunch of blueberries, maybe. Oh yeah, you like that. You like it too? Yeah, ready to eat. 24 divided by five. Okay. We can think of sharing between five people or five mammoths or making groups of five. Making groups of five is easier if you are working with a picture, okay? A group of five, group of five, I get the third one here and the fourth one here and then I cannot get another. So I got four groups, right? Remainder four. Hmm? Okay, okay, come on. He wants to eat some. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, thank you. I think we're done with you for this lesson. Bye bye. Now let's think about a method to find the remainder and to find the answer for division when it's not an even division, so that we don't have to just, you know, draw things. Forty divided by seven. Think this way. How many sevens are in forty? Okay? And then use multiplication. Like for example, okay, four times seven. Four sevens makes 28. And five sevens makes 35. We are not yet up to 40, okay? 40 has at least five sevens. And then six times seven, 42. Now we went over 40. So in 40, there are not six sevens. Instead, the answer is five. So let me write it here again. 40 divided by seven. It equals five, first of all, because there's five sevens in 40. Five times seven is 35. And then look at the difference of 35 and 40. 
that is your remainder. The remainder is five. Now we get to practice a little. Try this yourself, pause the video, and try to think this way. How many threes are in 17? And so on, and try to find the remainders too. Okay, let's go through these now. How many threes are in 17? You will use multiplication, such as, okay, 6 times 3 equals 18. So there are no 6 threes. There are not 6 threes in 17. Instead, the answer must be 5, right? And 5 times 3 equals 15. And then take the difference of 15 and 17, which is 2. That's your remainder. They are the leftovers, so to speak. 26 divided by 5. How many 5s are in 26? Okay. Maybe you remember 5 times 5 equals 25. And then the next one, 6 times 5, would be 30. So in 26, there are 5 5s, right? And then the remainder, the difference here is 1. 21 divided by 6. How many 6s are there? Okay, 3 6s would be... 18. So yes, there are three sixes. Four sixes would make 24. That's, that went over, so to speak. So the answer is three. Three sixes in 21. And then the difference of 18 and 21 is three. Lastly, 37 divided by eight. How many eights are there in 37? Okay, four times eight, 32. So it looks like Four eights. Let's check five times eight. That's forty. That's too much. So there's four eights there, and then thirty-two, thirty-seven. The remainder is five. Now, lastly, we're gonna look at a pattern, and it's a, quite an interesting pattern. I feel. Let's see. Ten divided by five. Well, that's just two, right? How about 11 divided by 5, if you have one more? How many 5s are in 11? Still 2. 2 times 5 is 10, and now there's a remainder of 1. Okay, how many 5s are in 12? Still just 2 5s, but this time we have 2 left over, or the remainder is 2. And 13 divided by 5, how many 5s are in 13? Still two fives, two times five is 10. And now we have three left over, right? And then 14 divided by five is two, remainder four. Can you continue the pattern? 15 divided by five is three, and there is no remainder. The division here is even, okay? 16 divided by five, how many fives are in 16? Okay, you can use this, three fives in 16, and now we have a remainder of one. How many fives in 17? Again, three. But this time, because three times five is 15, 15, 17, we get remainder two. You can see the pattern now, right? We get three remainder three, and three remainder four. And then 20 divided by five, it's an even division again. No remainder. And how many fives in 21? Four and remainder one. You can guess how it goes now, right? Fours here and the remainder increases by one in each step. Until we come to 25 divided by five, which would be five, an even division. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the pattern. We're all done with this lesson.